Okay, okay, back today to make a way. You gonna uh, try to end on All right, we got Oni G. How you so doing? I'm good. How y'all doing? Good, man, good. For sure. How you, how you living? How everything going? Shit, trying to get everything off the ground. That's really the main thing right now. Been busy lately, huh? Always busy. It ain't never no days <laughs> off, man, for real. That's good. How how has it been? I mean, I feel like stuff been kind of picking up for you. Um, even more recently, within the last like few months, um, how you how are you taking all that? Shit, it's a lot to take in. I say that it's overwhelming. That sometimes sometimes it's overwhelming. I ain't gonna cap, but shit, keep pushing because I'm striving for one thing. So that's really what it is. For sure. All right. So we'll we'll come back to that. It's the first time we we did this, so I want to go kind of through the whole story. Let's get it. Um. So you 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 born and raised in Oklahoma City, right? Or are you? Yeah, East Side. Yeah, me. Okay. For sure. So how how was that? I was growing up on the East Side. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. Like I mean, it ain't it ain't it ain't how it used to be. Now we now on the East Side is it's moving on up, but man, that's still the side of town. Don't nobody want to go to. You know what I'm saying? So it's more of uh, we coming we coming along, but. It was hood. Growing up, it was all that shit that niggas rap about. I'll tell you that. For sure. Um, so is that... Well, kind of touch on that, because I've, I've been kind of interested to get somebody that's like from over there's perspective on like, you know, they're trying to build build the the east side up a little bit. Yeah, like, they're trying to build it up. They really... It's a, it's a lot of black-owned business going on around there that we're trying to, you know, uh, preserve. But it's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Ginger fun in there a little bit, so it, I feel like the east side is just like the home of the black people in our city right there, cause that's where we all most people is. You know what I'm saying right there? It's Martin Luther King. That's the street right there. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that just need to be preserved. But we doing it. We we picking up slowly but surely. Um, uh, it's uh, it was wild though. It went it went too much. A lot of illegal activity. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we already talked about. We ain't gonna get too deep into that. This yeah, is right. Not, this is not a Vlad interview. Yeah, for sure. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, so how? Uh, like, was music something you were always interested in? Like, is that something your family music. does, or just like the homies, or what? Nah, hell no. Nah. My family, shit. These two, my blood brothers right here. These fools right here, man. My dad. They're all my siblings, we all got something going with us. Like, one of us can sing, one of us can rap. Like, we deep. We like 17 deep. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> you got 17 brothers and sisters? Shit, probably more. Damn. Yeah, me. I mean, my dad's with my, my pops was a Rolling Stone, no cap. <laughs> <laughs> um, babies, uh, yeah, and ain't none of us got the same mama. Do the fool. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, we all, we all music oriented. Uh, oriented. So, uh, we all just be on it. Some well, not all, cause some of, most of us don't even use it. But it's like five of us for sure, for sure. That be like, mm, you know, we be cool with it. So it was something you were doing like when you were younger, or like when did Man, you pick it up? My daddy used to, uh, <laughs> my 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 guy gone now. So my my dad used to sell his stones and get us keyboards for them shits. You know what I'm saying? Like we music for real, like for real, for real. Like I grew up playing on the keyboard type shit. Daddy walk around the house uh, singing. My brothers used to be in a, a a group, you know what I'm saying, hitting the studio. So it was just everything that I grew up around. Music, music is like air to me. Like, yeah. You feel me? You never had no like hoop dreams, nothing like that. Hell no, nah, right? man. I'm short as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. For real, no. Nah. I ain't had no hoop dreams at all. Okay. Um. So uh, do you feel like that's helped you like kind of being actually music there's a difference in being musical and like being like a hip-hop rapper if that makes sense i feel like i'm more of an artist yeah yeah I, for sure because like uh, i used to it, it, yeah I feel, I feel like it's helped a lot but i feel like i used to be a rapper like you know what i'm saying like i used to literally rap i ain't harmonize so it was like i was a rapper you know what i'm saying but now i done unlocked new cheat codes new characters you know what i'm saying type shit so i feel like uh, i'm an artist i done learned how to do a lot of stuff uh music wise uh, production wise type stuff so I'm I'm I feel like I'm in the bag to call myself an artist rather than just 
lending myself to a rapper. For, for sure. sure. So what what kind of made you make that flip from? I know I know you said like early on you were you were just rapping, rapping basically, uh-huh. right? So what kind of got you into that like kind of singing lane? So I would, <laughs> so like we would be singing, but we wouldn't be singing to like it'd be more like you know how Boosie used to be like yeah you know what I'm saying so it'd be more on that type of shit it would never be on like I'm singing like I'm talking about a girl I'm talking about the streets in a harmonic way it, it ain't it wasn't none of that it was just straight uh, rap, uh like little let me ease your mind type shit you know what I'm saying so it would never we didn't never get into all that until like I got out like you know what I'm saying? Did my time, got out, was like, I wanna sing. I ain't really fucking with this rapping shit because it didn't kick off for me how how I thought it would. I was hard. I ain't gonna, <laughs> niggas can't knock my bars or nothing, but it was like, it's different for me to be rapping. You know what I'm saying? Because they want either like a prettier face. I ain't gonna say I ain't pretty because I'm pretty as fuck. But I'm saying like, <laughs> like a, a prettier, like feminine face, you know what I'm saying? To be rapping some thugs shit. And you looking at it like, girl, you know what I'm saying? It's cute. You know what I'm saying? It's cute, literally. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It ain't like, oh yeah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? It was harder coming from somebody like me. You know what I'm saying? For uh, uh, in the men's perspective to feel me, they'd be like, yeah, that shit cool. But once I I was I was seeing the same verses that I was rapping, they'd be like, that shit hard. Like that's what you want to hear, okay? But you know what I'm saying? So it was different. For sure. So you you said you had to sit down for a little bit. Yeah, man. That shit was crazy. I was like 17. I sat down for a cool little two piece, about, about two piece. I mean, I'm like, shit. But you, you were doing music already before that, right? I was doing music before that. Uh, shit. Right when, right after we shot our first video, me and Bam Bam Stu, we shot our first video. I think I went to jail. I was on Anchor Monitor in that damn video. No cap. <laughs> me, I was in Anchor Monitor in the damn video. Fucking, uh, shit. I went to jail probably two, three weeks after. Yeah, okay. And I went and did my time on me. So coming out from that, is that? It was of- a change. It was Jurassic as hell because it was like, you got to be serious about everything that you're doing now. I'm like, where did all you niggas come from rapping? Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, when, I was, when I was rapping before, it was like I ain't, it was like me and him. And it was probably a little bit other people. I'm sure other people was rapping, but I didn't see him. You know what I'm saying? It was very scarce, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wasn't rapping yet. Everybody was still embarrassed. So, uh. Now niggas, niggas will put out anything. <laughs> what uh, what year was that? Um, 2016, 2017. So like, I'm I'm 21. So like, my age group wasn't. I didn't see nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who was. I think people. I can't name nobody who was rapping back then besides older heads. There's now. a there's an older generation, but there was definitely like a. It's like a common theme. It wasn't cool to be a rapper when we was like. Exactly, that song like. I ain't really see too many people. My that shit that me and Bam Bam j- did back then, just now hitting twenty k. That was two, three years ago. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, that shit there, boy. <laughs> um, so coming out of jail, did that kind of like give you a push to want to be like, okay, let me really like. Coming what? out of jail, I wouldn't think about no music that much, that tough. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was trying to readjust to the world. I ain't gonna cap. It was just, it was hella different because new technology coming about, like, shit, shit was in jail. Like, I don't know, that shit just slowed down everything. So I was slowed down. Uh, my flow was old. Everything was, so I was just like, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this play, this money, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, on some hustle shit, you know what I'm saying? I always been a hustler, so that's what I was on. Shit. And then, uh, I was just like, fuck it, let me hit the stool. It wasn't even, I ain't even gonna say, like I said, let me hit the stool. I think uh, one of my homeboys had hit me, was like, I need you to come in stool and lay a verse down for me. I was like, shit, I will. It really ain't, ain't nothing I wanna do, man. Yeah. I will, you know what I'm saying, type shit. And then I sung on it. I was like, yes. I was like, say less. <laughs> you know, so it got, got my spark back for it. So it was organic, pretty much. It wasn't like something you calculated, like, I'm gonna switch this up and start singing, and it just kind of happened, basically. It just happened. Uh, the I want to say the first first song that I was singing on was an old song. I think it's called like uh, "Too Many Too Many Nights One for the Night." I don't know some shit. I don't even remember. But uh, it ain't now no more. I deleted all my old shit. Like if you go back, some of my some of my shit still up because it's posted on different pages. I go back and you see me singing on there, but I ain't. It wasn't right with yeah. the, I was singing on there, you know what I'm saying? It was cool. Okay, so that then that that Me Too came out, that was 
um, kind of around that same time or a little bit after that? It was after. Yeah. On me, uh, Me Too, Me Too came. I held Me Too for a cool little six, seven months before I even dropped it. So, because I was just like, mm -hmm. I, it wasn't that I didn't feel the song. It was just like, shit, do I want to keep doing this shit, really? Because you know what I'm saying? During this, during anything you do, you're going to lose your inspiration, your motivation for a little bit. And then it's just going to come back to you. And that's what it did. Had to take some, you know what I'm saying, take a break. I kept posting it on uh, my Facebook story uh, or whatever. And shit, they like, what's this? Where this at? And I'm like, shit, y'all want it? I dropped it. Dropped that bitch. Ran up. I was like, damn, people hitting me. Let me shoot this video. Bro, Smitty had hit me and was, shot my video for free. And he was like, this shit going to go up. I was like, all right. It went up. <laughs> so, <laughs> you didn't really feel it or what? Uh, just because like my, my rapping wasn't kicking off how I thought it was, so I thought it was going to do the same thing. And it, it did way different. And yeah. that's, that's the lane that I switched to. But um, shit, I held off for, on music for a little bit on that too. Shit, I had to take a break. That wasn't my choice, but I had to take a break. And then I turned around and started dropping again. That's when I dropped that uh, Gangsta Song. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that, that tape kind of like... Captured that, everything yeah. that I was going through, during that time to all the way up until I dropped it. Shit, till even a little bit after, cause I took a little break after that, and it wasn't even it wasn't even like because I was losing motivation that time. It was like the fact of um, it just I felt like it could have been better. I didn't have a lot of resources, so it was really one one band. You know what I'm saying? One man, one band type shit. So, uh, mm hmm. I took a break and then I bounced back and I started just getting better and getting better and practicing, getting better, realizing, finding my sound, that I, shit that I wanted to do. Shit, that's really it. So let's talk about that kind of, you talked about resources and like doing shit yourself kind of. I, I listened to your uh, your shit on Shot of Brandy mm -hmm. and your, uh, your recording process is not real. It's not it's not real traditional, so kinda kinda talk about that a little bit. This old reliable phone of mine. <laughs> For real though. Like uh yeah, I be recording on band lab like ninety percent of the time, still not like ninety percent of the time. I could count on my hand how many times I've been to the studio. Type shit. Uh I usually punch in just cause it's it one, it's more comfortable, two, it's convenient. Um three, cheap. Yeah. Uh but you have a mic at the at the house, or are you literally like recording into nah, the phone? Nah. Okay, so uh, I get some Apple headphones, plug it in here. The wire, you can't use the Bluetooth. Bluetooth gonna lag in your ear. So you want that uh, wire? Get the wire. Shit, pull the mic uh, like that. Like you know what I'm saying? To hold it a little bit away from your mouth and spit. That's it. That's all. That's real. <laughs> <It's> wild. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it about that that like you you prefer over the like going to the studio? Uh, I done been to the studio a couple times and it just sound like overly auto-tuned. I know I ain't the best singer. I ain't finna sit here and be like, I'm Alicia Keys. But some of it just be sound like, eh, hey, like, I ain't Lil Wayne, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't T-Pain. Ain't nothing wrong with they voice or nothing, but I don't like all that auto-tune. Uh, I done been in places and I'm just not comfortable. Like, it's too many people I don't know around me. You know what I'm saying? I, I be paranoid, man. I done been through some shit. So it's like, I, I. It's too many people in here. People don't want to kick people. Like, if I pay for a session with you, why is it 13 niggas right here? You know what I'm saying? I don't know none of them. You know what I'm saying? That's weird. <laughs> That's weird as hell. I, I don't like that. I don't like people. Uh, and then I don't like when I done been around producers or I done went and recorded with a producer and then somebody else hit me like, oh, I heard your song with such and such. Don't do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. Um, so everything is still, like, in my reach. I have control on it. I just, I don't like being out of control, <laughs> shit. For sure. Um, so, um, the first time, I mean, I had heard your name, the first time I really, like, me personally, like, you caught my attention, was clap for me. I felt like everybody was posting it, like, it was, you know what I mean, social media and stuff. Yeah, it, yeah, was, it went crazy. It was going crazy. So just kind of talk about that song and, like, how you feel like that went. Uh, clap for me. It was a freestyle. It was just really me playing around because I heard, uh, I was just hearing the snippet of Coily Ray like on TikTok and shit. And uh, I was like, okay, this is hard. Let me, let me see what I could do with it. I'm like, I could, I could run this beat. I'm like, I want that beat exactly. I couldn't find that beat exactly. I went with the remake of it. So then I laid it down and I'm just sitting here playing with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling that hoe. I'm like, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it wasn't nothing else to it. It wasn't nothing like, 
I wasn't trying to do too much. It was just like, it's nice. I recorded on my phone and shit. I'm sitting here playing it for a couple of females and shit. They like, I like this. I'm going to know this shit. This shit, woo 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 I'm like, oh, it's hard like that. So, like, listen, I'm finna drop it. I ain't had no, I didn't, that was my follower, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what really jumped it off. Then Scarlet Kid had hit me and was like, let me shoot this. I was like, say less. So I'm like, yeah, I ain't wanna do this. I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, that was my, yeah. Yeah, I fuck with that. For sure. Um, do you feel like that was kind of like your introduction into like the industry side of shit? No. Nope. It's full, it's full, okay. Mm -mm. I feel like for the city was. Okay. It, it's just the numbers tell it all. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't even heard clap for me like that. A lot of people ain't heard for the city, but I bet you $20 I go and perform for the city. They gonna know all them words. I perform clap for me. They only gonna know that hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it shows me a lot. Um, I seen it at the big show. That shit was crazy. Like, hey, it was crazy to me too. I was shocked. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. I was shocked. I was like, yeah, this is, it, it was a different feeling. I was, I was getting chills. I couldn't even, I really wanted to freeze up. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this shit hard. It was nice. It was it was mind blowing. So, so um, you feel like that kind of helped you land a lot of the connections. I mean, I know you got songs with like a lot of the. Mm -mm. What do you feel like that was? Uh, I feel like, like I said, I feel like it was for the city that kicked it off for yeah, me. Yeah, that's what I meant. For yeah, city. yeah, yeah. For the city, when uh, I mean, for the city, kicked it off a lot. Clap for me didn't really. It was like. It was, it was, I feel like clap for me was more intimidating for people. You know what I'm saying? It was like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. That's what it was. And I was just like, shit, this ain't nothing. I dropped that for the city on their ass and they was like, fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's uh, how, what my resources was. Um, I don't fuck with everybody. So it was like, it wouldn't, I think one person had reached out to me personally and that was Reese B. And he was like, I want to work with you. Like, I love your music. Like, I fuck with you. I fuck with what you doing. And I'm like, shit, say less. Because I like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. So we, we put that together. And he sent me my song back probably in a day or two. That's that on God. And uh, me and KO locked in uh, through my my manager, Jay Boog, and Grand National. So that's how me and KO had locked in Lightweight. And um, KO. Crazy, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how we locked in. And then, uh, I got a feature with somebody else. I don't think uh, so. Yeah. I mean, Mitch is bro. That's it. That ain't no question. Mitch is over here, man. Yeah. We ain't talking about nothing. Oh uh, me, that's my guy. So me and Mitch already had uh, a couple. We had a couple features before we did the uh, back of the hood. Uh. -uh. But yeah, he sent me that back of the hood back, like, shoom. He was like, yeah, this the one. I'm like, yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in a whole different bag, bro. <laughs> um, so that's my guy. So kind of just like branching off of that, how do you feel like kind of the state of, you know what I'm saying, like the music scene and everything is in the city right now? It's, I know you said it's, it's super different from when you like It's super into different. It. It's super saturated. Uh, I feel like right now, but it's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, who got potential to blow. Uh, it's a lot of people who definitely have to work on their craft and is overhyped. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail on that, but for surely, for surely, for surely, I do feel like if everybody just support one another, you know what I'm saying, rather than like faking a phone with people, I hate fake shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Be real, be genuine. That's when you gonna click, you know what I'm saying? You don't never click when you sitting here faking to be like somebody you not, that shit weird. Now I'm not talking about you talking mu like music and your music or none of that. I'm saying like you yourself. Don't brand somebody you're not. Brand that person you want to be shown to the world. Don't be branding somebody you not, that's weird. That's weird. That's what people do in the industry as well. And that's why I'm like, shit. I'm here, chilling, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, just just be yourself. Uh, people, people crazy. The music scene crazy here right now. It's hella, hella people here, just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna talk shit, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, for sure, like, I don't, I don't know. It's just, a, it's a few artists that I fuck with, and I don't fuck with too many. We going to who that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh yeah, for sure. Fuck with my guys right here, Info Santana and J Double O, and I fuck with HDL and Mitch, Reese B, KO, 
uh, who else? Alexis Renee. Alexis Renee on Soul. Alexis Renee Hart. Uh, shit. I said it's Dylan Mitch. Yeah. For sure, man. <laughs> 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 man, uh, it's it's a few people that's just really hard. That's like lyricists, like June June Hart, June Hart as well. But I wouldn't count him no more because he he gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying type shit. But like Jug Bankroll Jug Hart. Um. Uh, I don't know too many artists either, so I ain't, if I leave you out, I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of, it's, uh, it's a lot of people who just hard, you know what I'm saying, and don't get the credit that they, you know what I'm saying, deserve, it's a lot of people who overrated, it's a lot of people who just, you know what I'm saying, need to find another craft, <laughs> shit. <laughs> for sure, um, so let's talk about um, For The Stars um, and kind of, you know, you, you've been dropping a lot of singles kind of back to back and kind of... Them was finna be singles. All of those songs? I, I so, could have I busted their ass with them <laughs> singles, man. So, uh, so what made you want to put them all out together? Because uh, I said I was, uh, I had said, we, we already had been discussing me dropping an EP at the end of the year. So um, me and my team have, so it was like... You can drop it or you can't or you don't, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I was like, I'd rather just give them a project so I could sit here and uh, work on the shit that I, I've been working on, you know what I'm saying? And get everything together to where we can uh, ride out. Uh, but for the stars, it's, it's the beginning, man. That ain't, that ain't shit, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's, it's only getting, it's only going to get better. And I ain't not on no cocky shit, but real talk. like. This new shit that I got, man, I feel <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> so what's what's that what's that gonna look like? Like, what's the plan? Uh, I ain't gonna speak too much on my plan, but I do have some new shit on the way for sure. Like, soon as hell, I'm gonna say that. Video single? What is it? It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for sure, I respect it. So, um, is it anything um, as far as like what you got next up? Anything that that you want to like tell people to be on the lookout for anything like that? Nope. I don't want. I don't want to tell nobody. I want to shock the world every time. Like I want to. I. I don't want. I don't want y'all know nothing. <laughs> you know me. I don't want y'all know nothing. Not. Not like that. But like every time I want it to be a surprise. Every time I want it to be unexpected. Just I want to go hard every time. I'm gonna go hard every time. I ain't. I ain't missing no chance. For sure. Well, you, you talked about kind of like trying to hone in like the business side of it a little bit more and like getting on the clothes and um Oh uh, yeah, that's that's like in the that. mix for sure. Uh we did some ski masks probably like what, two weeks ago? Two, three weeks ago. Them shit sold out in a day. And it was like, Oh yeah, I want merch, you know what I'm saying? Easily. I can do that, you know what I'm saying? But we got we got some the ski mask is just little shit, man. We we got some real shit coming. It's just coming. That's all I can say, man. For Everything sure. coming together in a in a in its own time, in its own way. For sure. That merch is a lick if you can if you can do it right. Merch sure. is a lick for sure. <laughs> That's some money, man. It ain't it ain't even it's about how you brand it too. Like I ain't I ain't no no I don't wanna just I'm gonna get it right. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Well, um, Man, that's that's pretty much all I got. I'm excited um, to kind of see what see the plan unfold. Um, it's gonna come. You know, I appreciate you sitting down with us and uh, for sure. Hopefully, um, you know, once everything once everything uh, kind of rolls out, we can we can sit back down and talk about that. We can talk about it now. I mean, I just <laughs> I just tried to get you to talk about it. You wouldn't talk what, about it. What you want to talk about, like? Like my plan, would I have plans for this year? Or? Yeah, just kind of vague, you know what I mean? Don't don't get a, the recipe away, but like... You oh, no, kinda... I'll never get no recipe, but <laughs> uh, shit, we got uh, plans, shit. Uh, man. We might just need a part two, fuck it, huh? Let me think. <laughs> Let me think, man. Because it's a lot, that, it's a lot. It's so much that it's like... Um, the merch will be coming in the next couple months. I want to say, not even a couple months, like a couple weeks. Um, me dropping wise, um, that's ASAP. But the thing is, the thing about my drops is I'm trying to make sure everybody get their little shine in. 
I'm a, just on some real shit. Like, cause when I'm dropping, I'm finna go hard. Like, I'm probably all y'all gonna see. <laughs> no cap, I'm, it, like for real. I'm, I'm, I'm on something like that. So I'm, I'm just trying to move to where the next step is the best step, and it ain't, I ain't half stepping on nothing. Um, I got hella features coming up with it. Well, I ain't gonna say hella. I got a couple features coming up. Um, I got a Barbie feature, you know what I'm saying? A neighborhood Barbie feature um, coming up. Yeah, we finna, that shit finna be lit, for sure. Um, shit. Oh, like the Lexus Renee feature, I think that love Hey, that Lexus Renee that's feature, that, that that's a whole different game. I ain't, that's why I ain't even want to speak on that <laughs> damn shit. Uh, no, nah, that Lexus Renee feature, for sure. Um, that's gonna set the bar. Like that's that's probably my favorite song right now. I got probably like, I want to say I got at least two albums ready to kick y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap. I got about two albums um, ready to go in the mix. Um, so what do you feel like? I mean, you've done both now um, a few times at least. What do you, you feel like? The singles are better for you or dropping the? Projects? I definitely feel like singles are better because uh, people don't keep like. The attention span is small, is you know what I'm saying, short. So it's hard to uh, keep somebody's attention. Like I don't know. I even even myself. That's why I'm like I know if I can't keep my attention on it, I know somebody else can't. You know, but you can't. I can't say that for everybody. But um, I be going through celebrity shit. You know what I'm saying? I be like, alright enough. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even that it's bad or nothing. It just be like, alright enough. Like I'm tired of it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's everybody now. You just be tired of it. So you pick like. Four songs, four or five songs off somebody's album, and then you like, okay. The rest of it was like, oh yeah, it's still good, but these are the only songs that I listen to. You know what I'm saying? So I try and make it to where I have at least three songs on everything. If I drop a project, three songs on everything that's gonna smack. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I feel like. That's what I did with For the Stars. I gave y'all uh, my top three on For the Stars would probably be Back of the Hood, mm, Have You, Smooth Criminal. Them is my top three right up off there. I wanted, uh, like, I would have made it an album. Like, I would have rather preferred it an album, but um, EP just was better because of attention. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And locally, sure. locally, people don't listen to, people ain't fucking around, man. Be real. You know what I'm saying? People ain't That's... fucking around with no local artists like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, people do mess with me for sure. You know but what I'm saying? It's still hard to get somebody to listen to 12, 15 songs regardless. Like, My point, even eight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got how many? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I done been in the car. I, I, I annoy people with my music. I don't care. Like, I'm be like, listen to this. I just be playing on nothing but my shit. I only listen to my my music and bro music and bro music. Like, I don't, I only listen to local music. Yeah. So, like, it don't, I don't, that's why I be like, I don't know, people, the artists, a lot of artists here is like, that's another reason why I can't just get jiggy with some local artists here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say some, but like some people that I done heard, I can't even name like their names or whatever, because it's like I can't remember them because they sound like this dude, sound like this dude, sound like this dude, sound like this dude. And Oklahoma ain't got their own sound. You know what I'm saying? So they over here biting this shit, biting this shit, biting this shit, biting this shit. And I'm like, just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that. I feel like that's. That's what make um, people like bored of your shit. Like that, that, that makes people bored of your music because you sound like this dude when they already just played this nigga. Now they playing you and you sound just like them. Now they turning you off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. If I, if I get in tunnel vision mode, I ain't listen to nobody. Like nobody, I can't even name. Like, Bro be putting me on music, and I be like, shit, I ain't never heard this. <laughs> they be on so I was like, oh, I ain't never heard this. I ain't never, I don't even pay attention to nothing that goes on. Like, I'm very out the public eye. Um, I don't like, I don't like that shit. I don't like, it's too much. It's you, too much to take in. You feel like that holds Oklahoma back, like, as far as not having a sound? No. What holds Oklahoma back is the support is the lack of support, is the haters, is the everybody want to be the biggest person here. Don't nobody, don't nobody, like why do you want to be the biggest person here in Oklahoma, bro? That makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. I don't care even the biggest people here. It's like, bro, you still stamping your name like you the biggest person here or whatever the case is and you're here. You ain't brought no game back and put nobody on. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't nothing to me. That shit whack. 
Like if I'm a if I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm the biggest person here, it's because I'm the plug. You know what I'm saying? I'm the plug. Like, oh yeah, I got this connect over here. I got this connect over here, and we finna, you know what I'm saying? We finna go up. Everybody finna go up, or at least my team and these niggas gonna branch out and put everybody on. That's how everybody get put on. But people be like, I'm the biggest person here. You got to go through me to get this. But shit, I'm going to tax you for that. Mind you, get your money. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, be real, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you see everybody over here hungry than a motherfucker, you just going to let you going to eat your food and let everybody starve. That don't make no sense. Fact. I feel like that's the biggest difference between us and like everywhere. Atlanta, L.A., shit like that is they Texas. they pull their people up with them. Like, man. And it, I ain't even even been too much everywhere and been in a music scene like that, but just watching multiple people come out of multiple places, like multiple people come out of one place. It's just that, like, bro, we had nobody come out of here besides June. I mean, Young Star came out of here a long time ago, but you know what I'm saying? Neither here nor there. But June came out of here, so who next? You know what I'm saying? Type shit. I ain't seen nobody else just like boom how he did. Like, he literally boomed out of here. Thanks. So it's like, Got to get that man his credit, but, you know what I'm saying, we got to have that happen multiple times. He worked his ass off, clearly, and the people around him did, too. You know what I'm saying? That's what they supposed to do. People be having all these people around them, and ain't nobody moving. You know what I'm saying? That don't make no sense. They can say they moving. You still, come on now. Facts. No, I agree. Um, man, like I said, um, I appreciate you sitting down with us. It was a good interview. For um, sure. We we gonna definitely have to do it again. We can probably after give me like two months. Got you. We'll line it up. All. Hey, what's up, man? It's Uni G, your girl Uni G, and I'm giving you the motherfucking okay.